So having pretty much established from not the only scriptures in the Bible that Jesus is God and that God is a trinity, we can look at interesting passages. Where is it now? About the Lord Jesus himself. Zachariah is where I'm going to. Now, chapter 12, just start at verse 7. And the Lord will give victory to the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem may not be exalted over that of Judah. On that day, the Lord will put a shield about the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that the feeblest among them on that day shall be like David, and the house of David shall be like God, like the angel of the Lord at their head. And on that day, I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. So it's interesting there for a start, that it's, spe it's speaking of the Lord giving victory and so on, and then it turns to I will seek to destroy all the nations. So the question is, is there, are there two personalities here? It goes on. And I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of compassion and supplication so that when they look on me whom they pierced now here it says him but in the King James and more accurately and the King James is a bit more accurate than this at times it says me so when they look on me whom they pierced they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn so, we have this suggestion in Zechariah that God is going to be pierced by people on earth. But how is that possible? God is a spirit. And so, uh, so Zechariah himself may, may or may not have understood this, um, but he saw it and reported it. But it's only when Jesus comes and he's pierced to his hands and feet and then the spear pierces his side that we can see what Zechariah is getting at but this me whom they pierce is the one who is going to seek all the net seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem this is the Lord and so again Christ is God 